We start with breaking news and a court in Saudi Arabia has sentenced five people to death and three to jail for the murder of journalist Jamal Khashoggi. The kingdom faced international condemnation for his murder in the Saudi embassy in Turkey last year and had blamed his death on a rogue operation. With me is the BBC's Middle East analyst Alan Johnson. Alan, what do we know about what happened in court and, and who is being sent to prison and indeed who is going to be killed? Well, this? one, this whole affair beginning on October the 2nd last year when uh, Jamal Khashoggi, the US-based dissident, Saudi dissident and journalist, uh, entered the consulate in Istanbul. The Saudi consulate had been bugged by the Turkish security forces, it seemed, and the whole world came to know the appalling circumstances of the murder of Jamal Khashoggi cut up and his body disposed of, we know not where. There was outrage around the world at this. The trial began in January of this year, 10 months ago or so, and at the time the prosecutors said that 11 people were in the dock and that they were asking for the death sentence on five of them. And in the last few minutes, we're hearing that those death sentences on five people have been handed down. Another three have been jailed for a total of 24 years. The prosecutor also saying that uh, Saud al Qatani, a very senior aide to the Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, having been ex examined but not charged and will not face uh, any penalty at all, not charged in this case. So, Alan, the Saudi authorities have always blamed his death on what they've called a rogue operation. But what is the UN, what is the CIA, what have other Western governments You're said? absolutely right. The Saudis always says, said that this was a, a rogue operation, that the murder was ordered, carried out by a, a more junior intelligence official who had been sent to Istanbul to persuade Mr Khashoggi to return to the kingdom but, and it, it went horribly wrong. That was the Saudi view that eventually emerged. But many uh, looking on investigators, elements in the US had suggested that none of this could have happened without it coming from the very top. And in Saudi Arabia, that would mean Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. The Saudis always absolutely categorically denying that. And the killing of Jamal Khashoggi caused global outrage. What kind of damage do you think it's done to Saudi Arabia's reputation? Absolutely huge reputational damage to this. The, the, the details were simply horrific. We heard, thanks to those appalling tapes, the, the, the killers planning the execution and dismemberment of this man. It, it was something out of some sort of a appalling movie novel if you like and it'll lodge very firmly in the minds of people all around the world. Saudis battling to contain the damage and as time goes by we, we may see some of the reputational damage ease away but this has been a, an appalling incident for the Saudi reputation no question. Alan thank you just reminding you that breaking news five people have been sentenced to death three to jail for the murder of the journalist Jamal Hashoji.